the UNSC troops all have their own usefulness, and some even have very unique talents that make the team whole, as long as they take part to combat the Banished. From Mega Constructs Halo, this is the UNSC Marine Platoon Pack. Am I the only one who originally thought this was an odd choice? I mean, sure, a pack of marines is fine if you're getting more, but there's already so much from other sets. It's like taken back to 2009 when green Spartans were popular. And with the Spartan that was seen in another set, I just didn't know the purpose of this specifically, until something came to light. As many have mentioned, with the Call of Duty hand-me-down legs were too tall compared to the Spartans especially. It's more noticed when you bring them together and scale hasn't always been perfect, but it seemed there was a certain rule to all this. If Marines weren't overtaken by Spartans or Grunts weren't taller than Elites, we can accept this. According to Kevin Hurd featured in the podcast Evolved, new molds for Mega Constructs are limited by a certain budget, so to keep the leg straps, it was a temporary arrangement. Now with this pack, they remedy this issue with a new upper leg piece. Piece. Now they're at a respectable size again, or at least what we've gotten used to. I think that's why it came with five marines to make up for the problem pretty quickly. Another good thing is, if you just have the marines, we now have characters at different sizes. Plus, if you got the UNSC Marine Gear Pack, you're gonna enjoy this set even more. This set includes six tan base plates, two opposite leg straps, a side pouch, a small grenade, a data pad in metallic green amazingly painted, a radio pack, and three green regular packs. As well, there's two battle rifles in black, a rocket launcher in black, an assault rifle in black with an attachable lousy ammo counter, a sniper rifle in black with moving stand, a sidekick pistol in black, and a full turret setup. A good inclusion to the set, you can man it with the figures or completely remove the three add-on parts and have the turret as a handheld piece. Breaking up the flow, this set includes an orange UNSC Mark 7. Might feel a bit random and unnecessary considering the same figure is also from the exclusive UNSC combat unit. However, if you're after that for the figures, I guess now you can cut the millman. I love how all these dark additions of paint along with the undersuit contrast well with that orange, arguably the best this mold has looked. For the infinite line, this new articulation design features new shoulders, new belt, new chest, and the brand new helmet. Did I mention I love this in orange? No wonder we have a second. Now for the Marines. The rest of the team share very similar traits, so I'll go over the basics and then their differences. Each infinite style Marine uses the new articulation mold with colors of a faded green, muted dark brown, and gray armor. They feature the same vest piece, bonus foot rotation, legs for straps to slip on, and removable helmet, each featuring matching paint applications with a gold visor over top. Interesting enough, they each also have their own specialty as listed on the package. The UNSC Marine Demolition uses the female torso, FJ Para shoulders, and a lighter skin tone for the face. Light brown hair and seems fitted with the rocket launcher. The UNSC Marine has no designation, but features the female torso, Spartan warrior shoulders, light skin tone, and dark brown hair with a ponytail that gets in the way of the helmet. She also features a side pack. The UNSC Marine Sniper probably deserves the sniper weapon. With the male torso, he has the FJ Para shoulders, sleeveless arms, dark skin tone with dark hair, and side strap with grenade attached. The UNSC Marine Technician features the male torso, sleeveless arms with gloves, light skin tone, bald head, and seems fitted with the data pad and radio pack setup. Last but not least in the pack is the UNSC Marine Survivor. Sounds like there's a bit of backstory. This Marine features sleeveless arms, this time a gray shirt under the armor, light skin, and bald head. This is a nice pack of figures. There's a lot to offer from the Marines, but if that one size issue is your only problem, then there shouldn't be anything to turn you away from the set. I'd say, check out the set. I wonder if we have enough for a volleyball game.